What's up, everybody? Today in May of 2022, here in the DC area, we finally have the warm weather that I love. So this video is for those of you who are either just moved to the DC area, who are just visiting, or those of you who live here and are looking for some fun things to do, because today I'm gonna share my top 10 things that I absolutely love to do in the warmer weather here in DC and Montgomery County. So let's just dive right in. So the first thing I'm gonna mention is something that's new to all of us here in DC, and that is you can now visit the DC Mormon Temple located in Kensington, Maryland for the first time since it was built in 1974. So it has been kind of a secret, we all see it from the outside, but now for just six weeks, it's open to the public so we can all go visit the inside and see what a beautiful, beautiful building this is. So I highly recommend going to check it out. The Mormon Temple is open daily from April 28th to June 11th, except Sundays, and tickets are free, but make sure you reserve them quickly because they are running out of space. I really can't wait to go check it out because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see this beautiful, beautiful building. So my next thing is gonna be no surprise to you if you watch my videos, it's definitely gonna be Great Falls National Park and the Billy Goat Trail. Located in Potomac, Maryland, you can park right there in Great Falls National Park and you have your choice of three different trails, Billy Goat A, which is definitely more of a workout. You're definitely walking on higher rocks and it's a longer trail, or Billy Goat B or C, which is a little more flat, but you can bring your dog, so I love it so much. Get to look at the beautiful falls and have a great afternoon. And when you're done, you can always walk across the street to Old Angler's Inn, which has both a beer garden in the back and a fancy restaurant in the front, both outside, and they also have indoor seating. This is a great day. It's absolutely one of my favorite things to do in the nice weather. Enjoy. Next on my list is boating in DC. This is truly an amazing experience. There are several different places where you can rent the boats. I go to Key Bridge Boathouse right in Georgetown and you can rent kayaks or canoes or my favorite stand up paddle boards. Take the paddle boards out on the Potomac River. Literally to your left, you see the Georgetown waterfront. Then you can paddle right next to the Kennedy Center. And you can also see the Lincoln Memorial. I mean, it is really a fantastic experience to either be sitting in a boat or as I like standing on a paddleboard and just seeing all of DC's beautiful buildings surrounding you. It is so much fun. And I'm gonna put a link to a lot of these places below because I really want you to have a great time here in DC. So let's come back into Maryland for my next favorite thing, which is to go to Windridge Winery out in Darnstown, Maryland, here in Montgomery County. This winery is so beautiful and fun. It's a family owned farm winery. They have all their own wines as well as food trucks come and they have little cheese plates, or you could bring your own food. They have picnic tables as well as other seating, and you can just enjoy this beautiful vista overlooking the different vines and have a great time. We have so much fun going out there with my girlfriends for happy hour, or you can bring the whole family and make a picnic out of it. I really love Windridge wineries. And like I said, I'll put a link below. Enjoy and cheers. So my next thing is something that although I was born and raised in DC, I honestly forget how beautiful and stunning it is until somebody comes in to visit and I take them on a tour. And that is you've got to go walk around all the beautiful Washington monuments and buildings. It really is something special. I tend to take people to the mall to start out at the Washington Monument and then we'll stroll down to the Lincoln Memorial, go over to the Jefferson Memorial, the Vietnam Wall. There are so many beautiful monuments in DC. And I don't know if you knew this, but some of them are all lined up in a straight line with the White House and the Capitol included. It's just a day to make of it. Walk around, stroll around, you'll see a bunch of food trucks, you can have a little picnic, but you really can't come to DC or even live here without taking the day to appreciate all these beautiful monuments to enjoy. 
So if all those walking around is making you hungry, I've got the spot for you. In Georgetown, it's called Martin's Tavern. Martin's Tavern is a family owned restaurant and has been in the family for four generations, serving presidents starting with Harry S. Truman up to present day. They have different booths where different presidents sat and there even is a rumor, and I think it's true, that John Kennedy proposed to Jackie in one of the booths in Martin's Tavern. The brunch is so delicious and it's really a historic, iconic restaurant right in Georgetown. So if you're anywhere at all near there, you should definitely go have brunch at Martin's Tavern. It is an experience that you're gonna be glad that you had. Next up is such a treat that it's almost hard to believe that they're all free. And that is to visit all the Smithsonian Museums here in DC. Some of my favorites include the African American Museum of History, the Air and Space Museum, the National Portrait Gallery, the Sculpture Garden. I can go on and on. There are so many wonderful Smithsonian Museums. And like I said, they're all free. Now you may have to make reservations for some of them since the pandemic started. So definitely check that out before you just start walking in. But there are so many different museums for different people and different ages that I highly, highly recommend checking them out. Which leads me right into my next thing because it is part of the Smithsonian, which is the DC National Zoo. This is a day in and of itself because it's all spread out and you get to walk through and see all the different animals, especially our pandas, which we're celebrating 50 years having the pandas and they're so cute. So it's really a fun day for the whole family to walk around the DC National Zoo. And like I said, it is free, but Parking is expensive, so if you can take the subway there, you're definitely better off. Take the metro to the zoo, and then it'll be all completely free. Next up is the DC Wharf. We love heading down to the DC Wharf. This is a newer developed area, and they're still developing, but they're really doing a great job of it. It's right on the water. In fact, their slogan is where DC meets the water. You can also do boating down there. We do take out our stand up paddle boards and there's tons of restaurants. There's a concert hall, there's a boardwalk. They have fun swings to swing on on the boardwalk. It's really a very lively place that's a lot of fun to go to. One of our favorite restaurants down there is Mi Vida. It's got authentic Mexican food. It is absolutely delicious. So go down to the DC Wharf, stroll around, take a boat out, swing on a swing. They even have an outdoor fire pit where you can make s'mores. It's really, really so much fun. DC Wharf, check it out. And last, but certainly not least, in fact, I could honestly go on for hours talking about all the fun things to do around here, but I told you I'd keep it to 10. So here's number 10 is Bark Social out here in Montgomery County, Maryland. It's located in North Bethesda at Pike and Rose. I just went there the other day with my little dog. It is so cute. They have a beer garden. They have different cocktails. They have Frosé, my favorite, and you can bring your dogs and all the dogs run around. And it really is a good time for all especially now with the warm weather. I really hope you guys check out all these 10 things and I have a lot more. So if you wanna call me or text me and ask for more ideas, I'm happy to share them with you. And if you are thinking about relocating here to the DC area in DC or Maryland, and you would like our help, my team and I, we would love to help you. Just call, email, text, morning, afternoon, night, We've got your back and we'll make this move as seamless as possible. Check out this one on 13 things you must know if you're thinking about moving to DC. And if you do get some value out of these videos, please consider subscribing, liking this video and sharing it with a friend. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and motivates us to make more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.